Hello world, hey welcome this is Sunny. Today I'm going to talk about coronavirus in Italy, in Venice particularly. Now normally if you have visited Venice ever before, you are familiar with a sort of picture that you are not going to see in these pictures that I'm going to show you. Take a look at this. Yes. You see, these are the streets of Venice in the month of March. The month when the Venice should be vibe with a lot of people. And let me show you some of the pictures that are normal picture of the Venice. Yes. See the difference? Did you see the difference? Come on guys. The Venice is a city. It's like a museum. It's like Disneyland. All these people are there. All the people from different different world have saved up their money to come to the Venice to see and enjoy the, the historical side of it. But you know what? These coronavirus that take the whole Venice in a tour. Now let me share with you something that is really really funny. I think this is not the coronavirus that is taking that is making this happen. This is happening because of one thing and that is fear. Fear is a thing that uh, put uh, any people in panic and with the panic comes stupidity. That's what I think. Come on. The first when the coronavirus discovered in north side of the Italy, especially in Lombardia, where the Milan, the Italian, another big city, Milan, is situated, and then it slowly spread out all over the north. And Venice is in Veneto, that's another part of the Italian north side. And there are some few cases that the person has been found with the coronavirus, and that slowly, slowly created a massive panic. The schools has been shut down. Any sort of public gathering has been shut down and the big impact was that the Venice was celebrating its carnival which has been eliminated because of these coronavirus to stop the spreading of the coronavirus. I give a big thank you to the government of the Italy, Italian government to taking the steps. But what I'm, what I'm going to discuss in this video is some of the stupidity that people are doing. If you go to the supermarket out of the panic, these people has made the supermarket empty. I mean, they bought every single things they can buy to bring in the house so that they don't have to go outside. Now the funny things is here. I show you some of the picture of the supermarkets. Take a look. Yeah. They actually empty, made it empty all over the supermarket and made it like the world is finishing. I have to buy everything before it finish and others will not find anything. Now the funny things is that they buy all of the things stocked in the house so that they don't have to go outside often to buy uh, new things. And that's the way they eliminate the possibility of con getting contact with the person and getting the coronavirus. But the thing is that if you go outside in the evening, the same people who bought the, a lot of things for the house stocked it. And then in the evening, he's outside chilling out with the friends and everyone. Now, what's the point of this? Come on, man. This is so ridiculous. And then again, you are, you, you, you're stocking up everything to save yourself from the coronavirus and then you're going in the evening outside with your friends and everything. How do you know that your friends are not already contaminated? Because coronavirus doesn't show the symptoms instantly. What I found in the research that, not my research, in the research of the Google teacher, you know, what I found is that coronavirus, it may be inside you, you don't even know that. If your respiratory uh, system is weak, if your lungs is weak, if you have diseases like diabetes, heart disease, or some sort of disease or if you are really weak and your body is weak to combat this virus you will get fever and you may gonna may gonna die <laughs> who knows i hope you're not but the thing is that going outside and meeting with the friends and if you are really emptying that supermarket this is a stupidity you should should stop this you know the news agency they come inside the supermarket take the picture of it put it outside the internet and they create a massive panic because of this massive panic the supermarket is all over empty. The whole Venice is empty. The hotels are not getting any any sort of reservation. You know the airport of the next to the Venice is the Marco Polo airport. That so many flights has been cancelled. The flights are flying empty. The business, the whole economy is collapsing. Italy is just about to get out of the recession of 2008, and now it's getting into a new one. What is happening, people? Wake up! This is just a panic. That's what I think. I mean, how many people, young people died out of coronavirus? Show me the number. How many? Yeah, and yet you are in scared of the coronavirus. Take your precaution, take the take your responsibility to keep yourself safe, but that doesn't mean to, and also think 
properly that you should not create any sort of panic now what i saw inside the bus like whenever i travel in in, in venice i live in here for six years when i travel inside the bus i never saw these things what i'm seeing now you see a chinese guy inside the bus and all the italian people around him is like they go uh, about two meters away how do you know that that guy is and how do you even know, don't know that that guy doesn't have coronavirus that's the two question but what is the thing is that people the government of italia actually shut down all the businesses of Chinese, Chinese restaurant, Chinese barbershop, Chinese uh, aliment, Chinese like food shops or whatever it is, they shut it down. They shut it down for one week and it has been past two weeks, they still closed. Now, what I'm seeing here is like a, a panic and a discrimination against the Chinese people. Not, now, they, are, they you cannot blame them for the coronavirus. The coronavirus came out of Wuhan, everybody know that, from China. But these people are human beings who are living in Italy and also they're in China. But the thing is that nobody wants coronavirus in their life. It just transferred. You should not hate the people just because you think that he has or she has some disease that may gonna transfer me. You should not hate. Take your responsibility. Make yourself safe. Don't spread hatred and panic. Panic will not take you somewhere else. It will not save you from coronavirus. That's the whole message of this video. I I hope I will get some likes, some same same minded people. If you are watching this, hit the like button. And if you are dislike this, hit the dislike button. I don't know, but but if you were in Venice in this March, like in 2020, you you would you would feel the things that I'm feeling now. It's so sad. The city is empty. The roads are empty. Like it's, it feels like epidemic. And I don't like this. I see Venice for six years. And I'm always bustling with the people. All sort of people, especially this city is based on tourists. And all the tourists are cancelling their trips and everything. Why? Why, people? You think that if you don't come to this country, you will not get coronavirus. But the coronavirus is spreading everywhere. But I believe it's just another sort of flu or influenza. That's the things that you have when you have cold. That's all the matters. Take it easy, man. Take your necessary steps to keep yourself safe and think properly to not spreading panic and hatred.